Sorry if the internet connection drops. Uh, we're here at Google headquarters. Here at 1600 Mountain View, or 1600 Amphitheater Parkway in Mountain View, California. Right here. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh-huh. We're out here at 1600 Amphitheater Parkway in Mountain View, California. Asking that Google defend the internet and say yes to net neutrality. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. We're just getting set up and we'll be getting started with the event here in just a minute. That is, if the Google police let us have it, but provided this isn't private property. We don't have a permit to be here. Right. Oh yeah, we need permission. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's Punk Boy. Punk Boy will also be live streaming. Are you going to be live streaming? Uh, I'm going to do HD and put it together afterwards. Okay. Alright, so I'll be the... So we have to go back across the street, it looks like. We just finally... That's on the That's fine, we can, we can sit there, that's a public park. Well, we can always go back across the street. Let's go. That's fine with me. All right. Well, we're gonna go back across the street here, folks. Uh, so we're in compliance with the law. Yeah, they asked us to move it back across the street. So we will comply with their wishes. They said move it a crack back over here. So this is Ryan. Wait, I'm doing, doing some things. Yeah, no. It's all good. We're here at 1600 uh, Amphitheater Parkway in Mountain View, California, for those of you who just joined us. We're asking Google to protect net neutrality and defend the internet because an open and free internet is kind of really beneficial to everybody. This is my first time at the Googleplex. Uh, that's what this joint's called. They got these little multicolored bicycles that everybody's riding around on. This kind of reminds me of like some scene in fucking Brave New World or like 1984 or something like that. Everything's kind of, this used to be all like farmland, all this area around here. Back in the day, back when I was a young man, this place did not exist. Anyway, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, and we're out here. You can uh, retweet uh, Punk Boy and SF, or mine, Freeman Sullivan, if you want to get more of the word out and let people know what's going on out here. We are at Googleplex, the headquarters of Google down here in Mountain View, California. We're having some speakers and some music. This live stream will go on as long as we can maintain a good connection. So Google informed us that it was uh, that 
where the canopy is set up across the street was private property and they asked us to move it across the street. That's what we're doing. Beautiful day out here in Mountain View, about 70, 75 degrees. Nice breeze. Got lots of beautiful people, lots of beautiful demonstrators, so hang on. Yeah, we can be here. <laughs> on the 10th anniversary of 9 11, she flew on Frontier Airlines. We can stay there if we do. No, we're going up to the gate. All the passengers on board were ordered to stay in their seats with their heads down and their arms up in front of them. Yeah, chill out. It's a beautiful day. In Lotus Land, California. We're down here in Silicon Valley. At the heart of the beast. At the Googleplex. Google, Googleplex actually means number so large that it can't be quantified. So that's what Googleplex means, and that's where we're at here. A company that can't be quantified. Who knows what Google's up to next? Google Glass didn't go over very well, thank goodness. Put us live streamers out of business.
So we're moving it across the street to the park. Have several security agents behind us. And no, we weren't sponsored by Google, which you heard those people in the background talking about. Anyway, we're going to go across the street here in a minute. Occupy tents going up too. Uh -oh. Here we go. Actually, I want to take a look. Occupy Google, why are we here? Great. Second here, folks, that are watching. I'm trying to get my crap together. I'm trying to charge up my other celly. Alrighty. Leave that in the bag. Charge up. Out here in the beautiful Silicon Valley. Anyway, why are we here? Occupy Google. Sure. Uh, short explanation of why we're here. I'll read it off in just a second. Anyway, we've been asked to move from this location. So we're kind of making a little bit of a last stand here with the sign. We're at Google Googleplex here in Mountain View, California. 
for those of you who just joined us we're out here asking google protect net neutrality defend internet freedom keep open lanes free and accessible for anyone in the world that needs to use the internet we're going to have some new people marching and uh, we're going to have some more entertainment so please stand by Anyway, why are we here? We are here to commence a serious, honest dialogue on the issue of net neutrality and how to move forward towards an internet that's free and open. We hope to stand with you and move towards the same goal, to maintain the internet as it was meant to be, a neutral playing ground without discrimination or censorship. This effort has not been undertaken alone. Uh oh, our sign is like People all over the country are on our side, drafting petitions, spreading information, holding rallies, appealing to their Congress members. With your help, we can do much more. We recall the various protests against SOPA and PIPA in 2012. The blackout of the Google logo was a commendable act of resistance against the two monstrous bills and the infringements they imposed. The petition on your site alone gathered, gathered 7 million signatures. We invite all those concerned with maintaining the internet as a free and horizontal communication platform to be here at 6 p.m. every day for a General Assembly to discuss how to move forward in defending internet freedom. We are also preparing for a major day of online protests in support of net neutrality. Websites can stage content blackouts and redirect visitors to petitions and comment forums instructing the FCC to maintain net neutrality. Users can creatively flood the web with content and urge policymakers to uphold the principles that keep the internet an open and free public commons. As the online commons is threatened, this occupation aims to build a space for preserving a free and open internet. Come together to maintain this open space for public discourse and social change. So that's what we're all about and that's why we're here. Thank you for joining us. Anyway, we moved the canopy and most of the tables are gone. We're going to be moving across the street here in just a few minutes. Woohoo. Three man Not heavy enough. You know what it is? You need to cut a few holes in that uh, in the sign. You got a few in there already, but there needs to be more. Got Punk Boy out here at Punk Boy and SF. You can follow him on Twitter if you want. He has lots of information. He's running a channel now that you can check out on the web. I'll get the URL for you in a minute. I had an opportunity to breathe from a clean sky, but it passed. I held my breath. I don't know why. I didn't take it all in. I don't know if I was ever winning back. Now the tunnel's turning black. I'm clapping out. I need a match, but I used them burning all of my bridges. Down. No time for reasoning now, a split decision How can I fix this? The only way to miss To the very ins and outs of my existence 
USTRE.AM slash capital N slash capital A capital N capital N little H little U capital B capital N H U capital D that's it I need a match but I used to burn in all of my bridges down no time for reasoning now a split decision how can i fix this the only witness to the very ins and outs of my existence oh 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 oh, oh. you got to be cause you got to be the cause if you want to see the change in your day one more time because you got to be the cause. You got to be the cause. If you want to see the change in your day, my goodness. some people think about. Under this new ruling, Comcast has the right to say to all of the websites, all of the content providers, if you want a premium connection, one that's unbuffered, one that isn't broken up into packets, you want the best connection, this is what it's going to cost you, and this is what you get. Just like the second best tier of service will be defined this way and this is what you have to take. And it then is obligated to take all comers. So it can't make these editorial or discriminatory kinds of decisions. It can't say, oh, I like you, I don't like you, so you're moving up and you're moving down. That's illegal no matter what the court said today or rather this week, this last week. What they can do, however, is say that we're going to have the best, the not as good, the little less than that, and offer tiers of service 
much the same way that Sears offers, you know, Sears good, Sears better, Sears best. That's the meaning of the decision. It doesn't give Comcast or Verizon or AT&T the right to discriminate in a way that we already know is against the law. Let's talk about what the term common carrier means. I've been doing a little bit of reading about some critiques of how the FCC has handled here, folks. And a couple of, of uh, articles I read suggest that the issue here is that if here the FCC Googleplex. had allocated the term common carrier to internet service providers, that they would actually have much broader authority to dictate what internet service providers can and can't do. So let's start with what is, what is a common carrier designation? A common carrier means that for some reason, regulation has decided that you have to share your capacity with everybody. Like if you're a pipeline, right, you've got to accept all the natural gas or whatever it is that goes through the pipeline. The old telephone system, back when it was a regulated monopoly, was a common carrier. It means that it had to accept anyone who wanted to hook up to it and so on. And if I recall correctly, it was AT&T who owned a lot of the lines, but they had to allow other carriers to use those lines to transact uh, communication. Yeah. And they got that in exchange for being a regulated monopoly, right? The government said, you're going to carry all the traffic that other people bring to you, but we guarantee you a rate of return, we guarantee your profit, and we guarantee you a monopoly. The broadband internet has been built by many different companies at their own risk. So the idea of, of making them common carriers after they've spent hundreds of billions of dollars is a little outlandish. Now, could the argument not be made, though, that they were able to build that big business on the backs of so many shared resources, the government infrastructure, employees educated by public schools, and their trucks drive around on the same public roads that everybody else does that the government funds? Couldn't the argument be made that the internet is going in the direction of really a utility? Uh, well, I, I don't think any more or less than any other industry. Hmm. The automobile industry uses roads built by the government and workers trained by the public schools. I think that argument is kind of silly. The, the 1996 Act drew a line through telecommunications. It said that the old phone system had this common carrier status, but the Clinton administration was adamant from the beginning that whatever this broadband internet information superhighway was going to be that it was in some province. And there are people out there after this court ruling who say that the FCC ought to look at the internet and say, hey, you're now just like the phone system, I declared it. But you know, this is the Frank Zappa test from his famous song, You Are What You Is. A cow don't make ham. And the internet is not the phone system. And it shouldn't be subject to the same regulations and the same expectations as the phone system. I do take issue, though, with you saying that the idea that big private enterprise uh, being built partly on the backs of, of social or, or common goods and services and resources is silly, because this, is, this can be applied to other industries, and it's actually been a pretty strong uh, uh, argument. In, in other words, when we look at, for example, the bottled water industry, or when we look at research and development in pharmaceutical companies, and looking at the fact that in that case, for example, public water is being used, and we, I guess where I take issue with it, Dr. Ehrlich, is here. When private industry tries to say we are completely self-sufficient and exist independent of government benefits at all, and therefore we should be able to run our business without regulation, that's where I take issue because, hold on a second, you're able to run your business in the way you do on the backs of so many government-provided resources. Well, look, it's, you know, for example, the Internet started out with DARPA, right, in the Defense Department. But you know, and that's the case. And, uh, for example, uh, the wireless broadband world relies on electromagnetic spectrum. Although, remember, that's being auctioned by the government to the highest bidder, so it's not like they're getting anything. I think that where the broadband internet is today makes it less dependent on the government than it has at any point in its history, given the incredible innovation that's gone on, and really entirely in the private sector, 
I, it's not what uh, DARPA met yeah, was about to go 20 there. and 30 years ago. And I go a little further. Sooner or later, I think we have to come to grips with the fact that only these companies have the resources to build, extend, and improve the broadband internet. I think that there's plenty of protection in the system. Well, plenty, let me be back and carry it away. The system has protections <clears throat> if we have the political will to use them against rapacious behavior, against discrimination, against certain classes of users. Those are there right now. But if we want to have an internet that is rapidly moving up in world rankings of speed that's continually expanding, that balances many different competing technologies, wired, wireless, cable, fiber, telco and the like, then it's going to have to be done by the private sector, and we're going to have to achieve some kind of partnership with them. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. My concern, though, is when we look at the numbers, South Korea, Canada, the internet speeds that they have rolled out even over the last month, it's incredible that with the private sector leading the way here in the U.S., we still have such slow and overpriced internet. It is truly incredible when compared to other countries. I think, I think you're exactly wrong. Uh, first, the International Telecommunications Union, uh, or the UN body, sees U.S. broadband as being among the world's cheapest. And if you look at South Korea, for example, 65% of Korea lives in Seoul, which means they live in cramped little apartment buildings, and wiring up a local loop in, in Korea really means run a wire up and down an apartment building. Here, it means run a wire through a suburban residential neighborhood. That is the driving difference between internet in the U.S. and internet in Korea. In fact, David, if you look at what's happening in Korea, the average uh, speed of Korean internet hookups is declining, while ours is increasing at one of the fastest rates in the industry. Sure, but what we have to consider, Dr. Ehrlich, we can't ignore the fact that that may be because in the U.S. the average speed is increasing because more people are getting any access at all. So when you average in something instead of averaging in zero, that's going to help the average person's access speed. No, no, I think we're getting a little muddled, though. Well, okay, but look, the, uh, in the U.S., 90% uh, of the population has access to four providers of 10 meg or more. In Korea, speeds are declining because now that they're done wiring up the apartment buildings, they've got to go out into the countryside. Those are expensive and those are bad connections. It's, a, it's almost an absurd comparison. I think there's been a lot of disinformation put out. Well, maybe the South Korea example, maybe I stand corrected on that. I'd have to look into it more. But certainly if we look at Italy, France, there are countries that have a longer history of development and do certainly at least have cheaper internet access when we look at dollars per meg of access. Back and is in the middle of a fundraising campaign to expand the to his show from four to five days a week. The big attraction show has never been funded by big corporations, but always directly by our audience, and we're asking for your help to expand our show to five days per week. This will allow us to compete head on with the homogenous corporate media that you and I are very tired of. We need to fund extra staff hours, hire a new part timer upgrade our video editing equipment and pay for more bandwidth and we're asking for your help. And with only a few days remaining, they have raised around 50% of the gold for all the details and the fundraiser, including the first We're here at Googleplex, here at 1200 Mountain View, or uh, 1200 Amphitheater Parkway. Please have just shown up. Carrier services, net neutrality might be good. Isn't it amazing how it all boils down to what language we use to classify something? 
Broadband services under their current classification cannot be regulated much by the FCC. If it were to be reclassified, it would fall under Title II of the Communications Act, which would allow for telecoms to be more regulated and protect net neutrality. Critics argue that this would kill competition, to which I respond, what competition? Just look at the market you live in. How many cable companies will provide service to your home or apartment? If the number is over two or three, then you're living in a paradise of competition. Most people in America only have one choice, maybe two. Now Netflix has jumped into the fray. Netflix has said it would rally its members to demand the open internet they are paying their ISP to deliver. In other words, Netflix is threatening to set their mark on the FCC and the ISP. Can you blame them? If net neutrality is dead, the cost of most streaming or online services will increase. It's simple math. Like I said, if it costs more to deliver streaming TV shows or movies, you'll pay more for it. Hopefully, more companies will follow Netflix's lead and demand a free and open internet. We need new legislation and a modernized version of the communication act. This act should enshrine net neutrality and more competition in the telecom industry, not less. The greatest irony in all of this is that these ISPs say they want less regulation to increase competition and innovation, appealing to libertarians, smart moves. Americans are certainly frustrated with the government, so taking an anti-government, full free market stance seems like a winning bet. But what these companies don't tell you is how they regulate who can set up cable franchises and they ensure that very few companies can compete in the telecom industry. They hide behind free market principles and excuse them, but really they've been using regulation to stifle competition for years. There's an awful lot of confusion about what net neutrality is. Mostly because big ISPs continue to propagate misinformation designed to muddy the waters around the issue, but it's really not a difficult subject to grasp. Net neutrality is simply the principle that internet service providers should admit the access all content and applications regardless of the source and without favoring or blocking particular products or websites. Without net neutrality, your ISP can decide for you what sites you should visit. They can allocate tons of resources in making sure that sites they like load nice and fast, and they can make other sites take forever to load or block them entirely. The 2006 study by Apollo revealed that 75% of people would not return to websites that took longer than four seconds to load. So rescinding net neutrality is basically giving ISPs like Comcast or Cox or Charter, and why do they all begin with C? It's basically giving them the ability to reign supreme over the internet like God. We choose what you see, unless... Unless you pay us more. That's the plan. The end of net neutrality would result in ISPs essentially right, cyber shakedown. They want to get right, like all to hear the big that sites that rely on traffic and users. If they don't bust at us, it's not going to get them any place. This is your hungry live streamer, Free Man Sullivan. How you doing? We're letting them install We're here. Good, me too. I was, uh, I went to a music festival and volunteered for three days, and, uh, each night I got real sick. And, uh, the way the drugs make me feel sometimes, so pretty much feels like, uh, I got beat up and I have the flu. So I have a flu about my stream. I have to have a mute it. Mute it. Not yet. Whatever, I don't care. Yeah, I know. Um, I have cancer. <laughs> oh, shit.
You didn't know that? No. Okay, yeah, but I'm taking these cancer drugs and they make me really sore joints and, uh, and really bad fevers. So that's kind of some things I got months ago when I started taking these drugs. Uh, but during this fundraiser, I mean, during this festival I volunteered for, the same thing happened. So I was kind of beat up and not feeling too well, but I decided to rally up and come and support this. So. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I like slept for like 25 hours. For those of you just joining us, this is Freeman Sullivan, and we're at the Googleplex, Google World Headquarters at 1200 Amphitheater Parkway here in Mountain View, California. We're out here asking that Google protect net neutrality and defend the internet, maintain an equal and open access to all people around the world. That's why we're out here. We're asking Google, I think I read it off a little bit earlier for those of you, uh, uh, the website actually wasn't one on the flyer, damn it. Oh, let's see if there is a website that people can be referred to. Oh, no, there isn't. Oh. Anyway, just, uh, I, I, I would Google defend net neutrality folks. So that'll work. Yeah, you know, we just washed the tables today, and there's some, uh, there's also some masking tape here. I don't know if this is any good, but you can try this. Cases is like your local cable company, your telephone company, 
Uh, in fact, it's out there, and there are still a few independent ISPs uh, floating around, but most of them uh, run their stuff over uh, your cable or over your telephone. And they do so in states where that's the you know, required that they, that they have to be able to. But increasingly, those, uh, those options have been pushed out. So now you've got, basically Comcast owns most of the internet business in the United States, the largest portion of the internet business in the United States. Not, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's most, but if it's more than that. But it's, they're, they're the largest. And then at and I think, is number two. And you've, got, you've basically got three companies that control well over half, probably, I, I haven't had an opportunity to parse the numbers, but my guess would be at least five companies control probably 75 or 80% of all the United States. So it's at the consumer point where you get. So everything's mellow now? Or they want it too. At the Google Plex, Google headquarters, headquarters here at 1200 Mountain View, 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 Oh, maybe keep like a you know, maybe keep a small Yeah, I mean, I, I'm cool with it. Um, okay. month, or um, month, I have no idea what the And from, uh, I think it's, I'm hard to, I, I have to cover myself. And, and then, um, uh, you know, if you to buy more you pay extra for it. Okay, so that's how the internet works. So, does that bring one to the battery? The way it works with cable TV is very different. You can watch cable TV all day long, or you can watch it. Okay, why don't do you want to move the food over first? Or? Not really. I think, okay, what about this? If you want to see more stations, if you want to see MSNBC, for example, yeah, I think it's way of the provider that we have. It's an extra five dollars a month. You've got to go to a different. I wait till the cops leave. I'll bring. That gives you MSNBC and three or four other. I'll bring some the food, but I think we should well. bring. Uh, if you want to see HBO, you've got to buy another plan, which okay. includes HBO. Right, yeah, I'll bring you Showtime, you got to get a different plan that includes that, and you pay more for all these things, whether you use them or not. And that's the key to the insane profitability of this kind of a system. It's something called breakage. The concept of breakage is the key to really high-profit systems in business. If you can get people to pay for things that they don't use, then you make a small fortune. And I can tell you, back you know, from the days when, when uh, uh, Nigel Peacock and I used to run the, and, and sue Medicaid, uh, we ran the, the uh, International Trade Forum on CompuServe. And CompuServe charged $7 a month extra for access to that forum. Because it was a trading venue. I mean, people were in there literally making millions yeah, of dollars buying and trading. You know, and people would come in and they would offer shiploads. And we got uh, 31 viewers or, before. You know, uh, 300 tons of steel. And they were actually doing the deal. On the internet, this is back, this is in the 80s. This is when CompuServe was the internet. So people paid seven dollars a month to sign up for it, and they just got, their credit card got dinged every month forever. Uh, and this was AOL's business model. I agree. And if you go and they would check it out for a month or two, and then they could go and go away and they forget that they were paying the seven dollars. And trying to see how this all plays out. Toward the end of coffee service. And the police left. Seventy, eighty percent of the people who were paying that seven dollars for access to the trade fund. Here's on news. Just tweeted out my treatment for vacation. Okay, cool. And that was a lot of money. Presumably hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars. I don't know the exact amount, but I do know that the usage went down, so now the billing was continued. Take the coffee over two. And so that's called break. The so these ISPs now. So we're going to say, oh, oh, you want access to uh, the dot double X, the dot triple X domains? Or you want access to uh, these good news sites? New York Times, Washington Post. Somebody take that in there? That was useful. Uh, you want access to... These are pretty good. Uh, these are basic plans. 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 These are basic
This game, by the way. Clark. Clark's top. Nice to meet you. So the phone company can't charge you more based on who you're talking to. They can't say, if I call Shane, they're going to charge me a dollar. I call Danielle, they're only going to charge me 50 cents. You can't do that. So we're going to move back across the street one more time. So give us a few minutes, folks. I'm going to set the camera down for just a minute or two. For those of you who are watching, we're down here at the Google Play. Google World Headquarters here in Mountain View, California. 1200 Amphitheater Parkway for people that are in the neighborhood. Don't hesitate to drop by. We're going to be out here for a while. As long as our shit is powered up and ready to go. All right, folks, let me roll a cigarette here real quick. I know I'm a tobacco junkie. Give me a second. I need both my hands for this operation. We're at the Googleplex here in beautiful Mountain View, California, asking that Google defend that neutrality, stop internet censorship, and a whole host of other demands that we're making. This is your uh, loyal uh, intrepid live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, looking for his remote. A nice breeze blowing out here. It's a beautiful day out here in Mountain California. over that food if we want, you know, or some of that food. I mean, they've got better food than we do, so we can just leave it here. We can bring over that water. I'll bring the water. I've talked to entertainment people, they're out of back on the back. And I've talked to the high tech people, and I actually used to do the point yeah. is, is that I have some experience with both of them, and it's interesting how different they see it. 
most of the tech people will, will say two things to you about areas of neutrality, and I know many of you are the tech people, so my apologies if I okay. butcher what you would say to me. One thing they'll say is that you're stupid to think that discrimination is uh, I don't know, the tape is weird, for those of you just joining us, we're at the Google Plex here. 12 pound, hundred. Amphitheater Parkway in beautiful downtown Mountain View, which there is no downtown here, folks. Just kidding. This is pretty much downtown. Downtown Mountain View. And all these wonderful people down here asking that it, Google protect net neutrality and defend the internet. All those folks with the turquoise color t shirts on. Baraqua, for those of you that are other folks, they would want to call it different We're peacefully assembled out here. We're asking that Google help preserve uh, free and open internet just like they did with PIPA and SOPA and all the rest of those acronyms that they use to curtail your internet freedoms. Seems like every six months there's a new one. I think the latest one is TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership. If you don't know about that already, uh, hit the website, stop, transpacificpartnership.org. And you can always call the White House. I uh, uh, believe it's 2 p.m. when they stop taking calls, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And that number is 202-456-1414. Call up President Obama, let him know that you uh, demand that net neutrality and that he defend the free and uh, defend a free and open internet. Anyway, the police were just out here and they were real friendly about protecting our First Amendment rights. They're sitting over there. So we're not keeping an eye on them or anything, but everything seems to be pretty copacetic today as regarding our First Amendment right to free speech. I gotta find a shady spot. Yeah, because I'll get. I'm yeah. pretty. I have a pretty good tan, but. Yeah, in a minute. I'm getting the wide angle shot of everything. So I can keep an eye on everybody. That's what the camera's all about, right? Okay, we're going to the Jenny. I think I'm going to stash the Jenny in that But this is a free and open demonstration, non-violent in nature. we got about 20 people that came down here in a caravan from Berkeley, California. Looks like we're going to be here for the duration. Probably into the evening. We even have a way of keeping our batteries charged. Okay. I don't have to rely on my little solar panel to keep charged. That's what's charging us and powering us right now, folks. A leader? We don't have a leader. Down at the fishing rod. Tackle shot. The sesame ones are the best ones, the ones in that one. No, nah, we're pretty open ended about it. So, 
So the city attorney would have to. That's why we check the city yeah. attorney. Our city attorney is fantastic. Yeah. It's good to know that, and I will email that in the if that's been referenced. I love the. If you've got case law, yeah, by all means, send me a case. I don't mind. I, I know they'd love it. Anytime a lawyer has to do less work, I'm not sure. I can still get paid the same as they do. That's kind of hard. Can I give you my email? Now we know we can go across the street. That's where we're headed. So we're here at the Google Plex. 1200 Amphitheater Parkway here in Mountain View, California. Oh, the weather in California is absolutely fabulous. Merrick Star, Marika Star. See how it is. Yep, I thank you, Occupy Carly, Rise PDX. Thanks. Uh, police or not, the police have already left. Hey, hey, Occupy Carlisle. Thanks, guys. Uh, Peter Sand one, thanks, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and enter in a hashtag for this event.
There you go, there's the two hashtags. For everybody who's watching, defend the internet and occupy Google. A little closer. Oh, it really is warm out here. Uh, USTRE.AM. USTRE, the new stream. Yeah, with a dot. Slash what? Uh, capital H, little capital H. Little H, uh, capital, no, capital N, I'm sorry. Capital N, just, um, just Google it? Freeman Sullivan. It's just Freeman Sullivan. Just Google it, it'll come up. That's right, you want to find me, just Google Freeman Sullivan on the way. Yeah. 
We're down here at Google World Headquarters here at 1200 Amphitheater Parkway in Mountain View, California. This is Occupy Google for the hashtag. Also, uh, Defend the Internet is the other hashtag. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. Amphitheater Parkway coming to be in the area, Mountain View, California. 
this is where we're at today 75 degree temperature nice breeze blowing here at the Googleplex this is your live streamer Freeman Sullivan glad you're watching anyway I think I'm gonna go over and get a cup of coffee not that I need one It's going to be a nicer day out here in beautiful Lotus Land. Teach you how to tweet. Trying to get a cup of coffee here. Anyway, we're going to be out here until early evening, folks. So do let your friends know about us. We're here at 1600 Amphitheater Parkway here in Mountain View, California. So glad you could join us. Got all the local, we rounded up all the local radicals and we brought them down to, down to the Googleplex. For Occupy Google. And defend the internet. Woohoo! Woohoo! No warrants. That gentleman there has no current warrants. There you go. Long. Hanging out by the logo. Well, that was it. The police just took off. Woo ha! Hee 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 ho ho! Yeah, they were pretty cool. Although things might change. I land down the road. You can count on it. by the number of visitors that come here to visit the Google facilities, as you can see. Well, I haven't been dropped, although when I first started the stream, it dropped me, but I haven't had any more drops. Did I drop a second ago? No. Oh, your oh, lens dropped. Oh, shit. You didn't break anything, did you? It sounded like it, but... Uh, it didn't? No, I can still see. It didn't. doesn't look like it actually... Uh, glass. That lens pops out, too, right? This no. no not, the, not the pull piece? Nope. Oh, God. I mean, well, I mean this does. Oh. That's what I was saying. Yeah, it's a just all right. We're going to be here for the duration. Occupy Google. Come down and join us if you're in the area. We're putting out the call. If you have any questions, you can call me. My number is 202-910-5023. So if you'd like to come down and need directions or want to know more detail about what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was trying to call you because I was wondering where we were going to meet up. And we all along, I knew it was going to be here. You know what I'm saying? Out here, we'd be we'd be sweltering, folks. That's for sure. Sixteen hundred Amphitheater Parkway in Mountain View, California.
We're out here asking that Google do no evil when it comes to internet freedom. Or to do something. Yeah, do something. Not like Owen with small oh, yeah, well, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Clark. Clark, nice to meet you. Thanks for showing up today. No problem. If there was maybe a stand. Just keep me full of coffee and pot, and I'll be happy. Plenty of coffee. You want me to get you some? No, I got some. I already had some. I'm just teasing. I brought my own pot, too. I'm good. For the time being. Thanks, folks. So, so far, Google's been really friendly. The police have been really friendly. Everybody's been really friendly in Lotus Land here. Right? But if we were out here, we were seriously challenging the power structure and challenging Google. I don't think it would go so easy. But nonetheless, we'll take what we can get.
Yeah, thanks, sir. You streamer uh, dash eight nine six five eight five. Eagle bye bye. Let's see. If, wonder if Google is being blackmailed by the same Snoop. No, I don't think so. Someone should put some. Someone should put the flowers in some water. Yes, I would agree with that. Cruelty to flowers. Thanks for all the comments, folks. And thanks for watching. This is Freeman Sullivan here at 1600 Amphitheater Parkway at Google World Headquarters at the Googleplex. So glad you're watching and could join us. Our hashtags for this event are Defend the Internet and also Occupy Google. Should be there somewhere on the chat. Those are the two hashtags. Thank you for watching. That's what it feels like. Back to the present. Ooh, I'm getting a mighty sunburn out here. I can feel it. I will. Well, it's not that bad. Well, I see they tried to cut holes in this, but they didn't make them big enough.
like the sad songs that I think are all good. Deep in space, the kid had walked off with my own face, so I can't go on and steal it away. I don't keep trying of the day. Control is left to transparency, limits release your vulnerabilities. It's no less of a catastrophe to manifest your own destiny. I can't see the moon through a cloud, it's gonna catch my breath I'll begin to warm visions of my Accepted thoughts will begin to emerge through Untamed nights To train my thoughts Well, I'm up in the sky, limitless high Some thoughts on the clouds and the trees I'm past all your eyes, can't see so Pass your eyes into me Thank you very much. What's your name? That was my song. Lady Alex. Lady Alex there singing for us. Thank you. Oh, it's kind of hot, so I'm going to head. Take a break. Get in the shade. I know I feel the same way. Uh-oh. Hopefully I can catch a little shade over here. We're getting ready to uh, parachute away. We're going to take off here.
Uh, we're, uh, we're, we have a, we have some tables set up on the park space, but we're mostly inside. Spree Van Sullivan taking a break. Um, they have not Out of the asked sun. us to leave. For a moment. It'd be bright and hot outside. So do bear with the camera if it's shaky. You can check out OccupyGoogle.org. Okay, that's the website. OccupyGoogle.org for more information. We're, uh, yeah, we're, we're all net neutrality supporters. Um, there's a lot of overlap with uh, net neutrality and internet freedom and the Occupy movement. There's a lot of overlap there. Um, but we're predominantly, we're, we're all net neutrality supporters. We all see the power of the internet in, uh, in reshaping and making a more democratic world. And uh, th that's what people here are very excited about. The, the internet being a free space, uh, being the new public commons. If we want to keep it free, we want to keep it as right. this revolutionary right. force for social change. Um, and uh, right now there's a coordinated attack on the internet. They want to carve it up into two tiers. A recent court ruling in, in January opened it up. So now that uh, ISPs, internet service providers, they can block any website they want if they want to. That's the way the law stands now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically we're out here January 14th. So you know, net neutrality is already in right now. Right now. As of now, they're considering they can block regulations that will basically websites. allow for that's a serious problem. problem. Yeah. So they it's companies an attack on will free speech. have to pay or have to 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 so basically what this does is it starts the process of allowing censoring and discrimination online, which is what's made the internet so wonderful for so long, is that there's net neutrality. Everyone has the same access and the same speed and the same ability to provide content. So basically, um, a few years ago, when there was the SOPA, the Stop Online Piracy Act, right? so Google like put their, you know, their thing on the website, they blacked out the screen and made a page go to a petition and got 7,000 after 70,000 signatures. I thought that, uh, that was postponed forever. Which SOPA? Okay, yeah, SOPA, is, the SOPA got, got put down. And it was because of a lot of actions that a lot of websites like WikiLeaks, Wikipedia, and Google, and Netflix, and all these places did, where they blacked out their websites and they had the websites go to these petitions online. So we're looking to get a similar movement going for this, and we're looking to open up dialogue with people about how we can defend net neutrality and keep the internet open and horizontal and free space to communicate. So we basically want people to mobilize against what's going on right now with these current FCC regulations, which would allow for internet fast lanes, basically the dwindling down of that neutrality. Yeah, I yeah. know I come from China. I'm trying to yeah. probably heard that uh, what a situation we are in here. And I think the uh, U.S. is a uh, frontier for the internet freedom, so I support you. Thank you. If you are going down, I can't see in the future for our internet. Exactly. Okay, can I have this? Yeah, please, you can take any of these. Okay, I appreciate that. Do you think we can get any contact with you later? Yeah, uh, yeah. Is there some website on the, on the papers? On the papers? Yeah, is it on there? Well, yeah. some of no, them do, but there's no E at the end, so if we could get a black mark, right? Uh, actually, yeah, do you use the no. There's no E on the end of the uh, URL? Okay, I couldn't get the URL. You can have a random mic. Oh, okay. All right, so people that are watching, go to Occupy Google, although take the E off the end, so it's Occupy G O O Occupy G O O G L dot org. So there's no E on the end of that, folks.
So we're down here at Google World Headquarters at 1600. Uh, no, it is. It's Occupy Google with me at the end of the flyer. I mean, yeah, it did. Oh, well, maybe not. If they do it, they do it in America. Does it have the E at the end on the flyer? Okay, because I just got to OccupyGoogle.org with the E at the end. Okay. Well, that's a different site. I think. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I haven't had a chance to look at the site. Uh, Give me a second here, folks. A live streamer does not live stream on an empty stomach. Alright. You can just go to where the live stream is and, and embed it. The Google Place. Okay, it's um, it's a. Okay. What's your name? Okay. Yeah, choose three. USTRE dot AM. USTRE dot AM. Yeah, and it's like it's hard to use the ball. DEBOLT. Slash. Capital N. Daniel, we hope the city council meeting. Little U. Capital B. Looks like he'd be here for a while. He's in dark. There you go. Next you come up. That's what it's going to do. You know how I can embed it in the letters? Yeah, there's actual code. There's a, a how to here. It says you have to log in so the F and then go to the FCC uh, released a new yeah. proposal that's going to so can I just change this and internet freedom in general? They gave 60 days to comment um, I think on that. And then those 60 days, uh, then I think the first 60 day comment period ends in July. Now, this is uh, after a court ruling in January. Like I said before, it nullified the ability of the FCC to log in. open internet order to oh, regulate no, the internet well, service providers, the ISPs. So ever since that court like ruling really in January, well, I, all Comcast, Verizon, AT&T, all these ISPs, they can block Everybody's websites, they can discriminate websites against so websites, go back they can uh, charge access fees, to um, but the, 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 the main thing we're concerned about is, is blocking websites, that's a, it's a form of well, censorship, we don't laws like well, this is an attack on free one, speech. One possibility is to, uh, the, there used to be net neutrality because the internet was classified as... I think telecom. I want to encourage you to check out our website. We'll have some uh, Those what? Uh, photos posted. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's and now it's common carriers. Yeah. And there's yeah. also uh, Twitter. It's basically going to be doing out some information. Do you think we can um, there's stuff, a lot of stuff on Twitter? Can we find some uh, Google, island and the uh, handle, we, we have our the, own uh, You can also follow the hashtag Occupy by Google and with the E. And those Occupy Google without the E's are actual handle. That's the way to do it. Yeah, but I also think that we need to make moves where yeah, we're at, where we are, to liberate these spaces, yeah. Yeah. to make them more do this. And I hope we won't need any truth. <laughs> any truth? I'm just trying to change yeah. the yeah. we, yeah. we better don't have to have to. Yeah, please, please, please do. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. No. Right. You know, right, right, right. I mean, All right, yeah. what happens, right, so is that people... So if you log in, go to the dashboard, and there's a link to the space. And then the powers that be through, like, I'm sorry, I, I have to go. Okay. Pleasure. Have a good day, Mary. Talk to you later. Pleasure, Paul. Please come through. Frank. Frank, pleasure. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. That's all good. No worries. <laughs> We need another computer. <laughs> so simple. Thank you. There's one that's not being used at all. Yeah, I think it's not working. Oh. 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 I have a connection with you. Because so I could go grab mine. So, um, yeah, he says he's from China. Lady and you yeah. would really like a lot more freedom there. I'm wondering if we could do anything. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Where's he at? Just he just left, but he gave me his card. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Where's your for meeting today? He wants to meet you. I know, call Kyle and tell him to pull up before he makes it. Oh, where's he? So what you should do is, like, have you guys somehow, like, try to open something here? Yeah, I really think we need to open it up. Yeah, let's rearrange it. Where was Harry? So, yeah, it's like, Thank you. Now we're all ready to move this. Move this, that's it. Inside? Yeah. Oh, we'll work on the security. Oh, 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 security
Hey, uh, so hey, you already printed the wires? So, hey, we're gonna just slightly turn this. We're gonna slightly turn this so that way we can, like, have more of an interface with people. Yeah, like, okay, how, what do you want me to do? Like, I'm oh, sorry. I would pull a table out even more. Anyway, if you're just joining us, we're down here at the Google Plex, 1600 Amphitheater Parkway, here in beautiful Mountain View, California, just down the road, 20 miles, 25 miles from San Francisco. We're out here, here with a, to defend the internet and protect net neutrality. We're asking Google to do the same, do no evil Google, and also uh, help us stop the crap that's going out on the web, some of the censorship, rather. Beautiful day out here, a little bit windy, but if it wasn't, we'd be sweating. So we're, we're grateful for the wind, we're grateful for this beautiful day, and we're grateful that you're watching us. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Are you not going to wear your shirt? Oh, I am not know. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't I
haven't got the email or nothing yet? We have a full on encampment here at Google headquarters. We got tents up, museum, tables, food. Hey, we're gonna have everybody that's like, welcome back around. I'm gonna have Brian forward here. I'm gonna try to do the press and go up to so we, we can raise this up, it's just the wind, you know. Yeah, it's really windy outside. We're at Occupy Google headquarters in Mountain View, California. Let me call you right back. I have another call. I got Hello? Hello? Uh, I'm going to leave the camera set fixed here at this location for a few minutes, folks, so you can watch what's going on. I'm getting kind of tired of carrying the camera around. I need a break. I've been doing it for the last two hours, so I need a break. All right? No night, folks, watching? I use a little break. Okay. Um, all right, let's archive this real quick.